French bustle is the most common bustle that's in a wedding gown. To do a French bustle, you look for the center seam. That's where the zipper is. You follow it all the way down to the end of the garment. If you flip it over, you'll see that there's a seam here also. Hand it to the bride with open wide arms. That reveals the ties on the underneath side that will be tied together. The center seam is the first one that you should start with. Typically there's not safety pins in here, but I put them there so that you can see where the origin is. Also, the first set of ties has a knot at the end of the ribbon. You're gonna go underneath and find the matching tie that has the knot. These will be the first set that you tie together. Roll in the extra fabric. Tie it so that there's no gapping, all the way up so that there's no gapping. And then you can double knot it that day just to make sure that they don't slip. This is a denotation for the right and left side. Do not cross over to tie the bustle. The next one you go to is on the left side. There are no knots at the bottom of it, so you know that they belong together. Tie it so that they're kissing. Put a bow. And double knot it that day if you feel like you need to. Do have safety pins available. If somebody steps on the bride, the fabric is very delicate. I would like the bustle ties to come down instead of tearing a big hole in the dress. Take the safety pin and pin it back together again. Now I'm gonna go on to the right side. You find, find the bustle ties. No knots at the bottom of it, tie it together. There's no rules for how many bustle ties there are in a dress. The wider the dress, the more ties there's going to be. So you continue looking for the ties as you go down the side of the dress. It's like a horseshoe. It rotates this way. The ties will alternate between knot, no knot, knot, no knot. I don't like to right on the dresses because I feel like this is a piece of artwork and if I'm if I am writing on it then I've ruined the piece of artwork. Drop the dress and shake out the bustle. That gives you a French bustle.